Hello everyone, welcome to Agriculture Insight. Potatoes are a classic part of American meals, whether it's fries, chips, or mashed potatoes. But have you ever wondered about the incredible journey these humble potatoes take from farm to your plate? Producing potatoes is actually a complex process that involves multiple steps and companies working together. Major brands like Lay's or Orida don't grow their own potatoes. Instead, they buy them from large farming operations or distributors that specialize in sourcing and sorting the best potatoes. Once the potatoes reach these companies, they're washed, peeled, cut, and either fried, frozen, or seasoned, depending on the product. This is the journey most potatoes take to become the snacks and side dishes we love. And later, we'll explore the large-scale commercial farming techniques that make it all possible. Let's start now. Potatoes are primarily grown in Idaho and Washington, the two leading states in potato production in the United States. In 2024, the U.S. produced approximately 19 million tons of potatoes, with around 12 million tons processed for various purposes. In the U.S., potatoes are typically harvested in the fall from August to October. First, the potato harvester is activated using a system of sharp blades to cut into the soil just beneath the potatoes and gently lift them to the surface. As the potatoes are brought up, dirt and debris are removed through integrated vibrating screens or conveyor belts. The potatoes are then neatly arranged in rows on the ground ready for other machinery to pick them up and continue the processing. Next, a potato gathering machine moves along the rows of freshly unearthed potatoes. Using a system of conveyor belts and sieves, it carefully picks up the potatoes while filtering out remaining soil, rocks, and debris. The potatoes are gently transferred onto the conveyor system within the machine to prevent bruising. As the machine moves, it coordinates with a truck traveling alongside, seamlessly transferring the cleaned potatoes into the truck's storage compartment. This process ensures that the potatoes are handled efficiently and remain in excellent condition. Once loaded, the truck takes the potatoes to the next stage of sorting or processing. On a 25-acre farm in the U.S., the average potato yield is about 16 to 20 tons per acre totaling around 400 to 500 tons for the entire farm. With modern potato harvesters capable of handling 5 to 10 acres per day, it typically takes about 2.5 to 5 days to harvest the entire field, depending on soil conditions and the efficiency of the equipment. This time can be shortened further if multiple harvesters are used, ensuring a quick and efficient harvest. Each harvest season brings bustling activity to the fields, filled with the hum of modern machinery working tirelessly. After the harvest, trucks transport the potatoes to a central storage facility where they are carefully unloaded and prepared for the next stages. At the storage facility, trucks unload the potatoes onto modern conveyor belts positioned at the entrance. These conveyor systems efficiently transport the potatoes into the storage area while gently handling them to prevent damage. As the potatoes move along the belts, built-in filters and separators allow dirt, dust, and small rocks to fall through to a secondary conveyor system below. This secondary belt carries the debris to a designated waste collection area, ensuring that only clean potatoes make their way into storage. Afterward, the conveyor belts continue to transport the potatoes into the storage facility, where they are carefully deposited in massive piles. These modern conveyor systems save a tremendous amount of time and labor, streamlining the entire process. As the potatoes steadily flow in, they form what can only be described as a true mountain of potatoes, ready to be sorted, processed, or shipped. From these storage facilities, the potatoes are purchased by potato chip manufacturers and transported to processing plants, where they begin their transformation into crispy, golden snacks loved by millions. 
The potatoes are first placed into large tanks filled with water, where any remaining dirt, rocks, or debris are gently washed away. The soil clinging to the potatoes dissolves into the water, ensuring even the most stubborn residue is removed. As the potatoes are thoroughly cleaned, they float to the surface or are guided along by the flow of water. Once washed, the clean potatoes are transferred onto conveyor belts, which carry them seamlessly to the next stage of the process. After washing, the potatoes are transferred to a vibrating system designed to shake off excess water, leaving them dry. From there, they move into a size sorting system equipped with rollers and calibrated gaps. These rollers allow smaller potatoes to pass through, while larger ones are guided along a separate path. The potatoes are then sent to an optical sorting machine, where advanced cameras and sensors detect and remove any defective or discolored potatoes. Next, the potatoes are transferred to a peeling machine, which uses high-pressure water jets and rotating drums to efficiently remove their skins. The combination of water pressure and mechanical rotation ensures that the peels are stripped off quickly and evenly without damaging the potatoes. After peeling, the potatoes are sent to a manual sorting station, where workers inspect and remove any remaining defects or imperfections. Next, the potatoes are fed into an automatic slicing machine, where they are cut into perfectly thin and uniform slices, ensuring the ideal thickness for crispy chips. Once sliced, the potato slices are gently moved along streams of water, which help to separate them and prevent sticking. As they flow through the water channels, they pass over vibrating sieves that remove any broken pieces or imperfections, ensuring only high-quality slices continue in the process. This careful handling maintains the integrity of the slices and prepares them for the next stage in the production line. These potato slices are deep-fried in oil for about 3 to 5 minutes, ensuring they achieve the perfect golden color, crispy texture, and rich flavor that make them irresistible. The potato slices continue their journey on large conveyor belts where they are simultaneously cooled and drained of any excess cooking oil. As they move along the conveyor belts, fans or air systems are often used to speed up the cooling process while gently removing any lingering oil. This careful handling ensures that the chips maintain their crispy texture and are perfectly prepared for seasoning and packaging in the subsequent stages. The potato chips are then transferred to the seasoning machine, where they are coated with a variety of spices and flavors, according to the specific recipe of each factory. The system uses rotating drums or circular tumblers to gently toss the chips, ensuring every piece is coated with the perfect amount of seasoning. This process not only enhances the flavor, but also ensures consistency, giving each chip the signature taste that customers love. After being seasoned, the chips are transported to a packaging machine, where they are carefully portioned into precise amounts for each bag. The machine uses automated weighing systems to ensure that every bag contains the exact quantity specified, maintaining consistency and minimizing waste. Once measured, the chips are funneled into bags, which are then sealed tightly to preserve freshness and flavor. Afterward, the bags of potato chips move along the conveyor belt to the packaging area, where they are neatly placed into sturdy cardboard cartons. These cartons are then sealed and labeled, ensuring the chips remain fresh and protected during transit. Once packed, the cartons are transported to the storage area, where they are organized and prepared for shipping. From there, they are ready to be delivered to consumers. Let's continue the journey to the McCain Foods factory, a major supplier that provides a significant percentage of French fries to McDonald's restaurants worldwide. At this facility, the process for turning potatoes into French fries is nearly identical to making potato chips up to the peeling stage. It all begins with washing the potatoes thoroughly to remove dirt and debris, followed by the same precise peeling process using high-pressure water jets and rotating drums. These steps ensure that the potatoes are perfectly cleaned and peeled, setting the foundation for the next steps in creating those iconic golden fries. 
Next, the peeled potatoes are fed into automatic cutting machines, where they are precisely sliced into the iconic french fry shape. These machines ensure consistency in size and thickness, which is essential for even cooking and that signature crisp texture. After being cut, the potato strips are transported on vibrating systems that serve a dual purpose. These systems effectively remove any small fragments or irregular pieces while also preventing the strips from sticking together. This ensures that only uniform, high-quality fries move forward in the process, ready for even cooking. The potato strips then go through a blanching process, which typically lasts around two to three minutes using hot water or steam. This step helps to remove excess starch from the surface, ensuring a crispier texture when fried. Blanching also preserves the natural color of the potatoes and partially cooks them. After blanching, the potato strips are passed through an optical sorting machine equipped with advanced cameras and sensors. This system quickly identifies and removes any damaged, discolored, or misshapen fries. Next, the potato strips are dried to remove excess moisture before entering the frying stage. They are gently transported on conveyor belts during this process, where air or heat systems are used to ensure the fries are adequately dried. The potato strips then continue their journey into a deep frying tank, where they are immersed in hot oil for approximately two to three minutes. This step ensures they develop the perfect golden color, crispy exterior, and fluffy interior, creating the signature texture and flavor that French fries are known for. After frying, the potato strips are transferred onto conveyor belts designed to drain excess oil effectively. These conveyor belts are equipped with perforations or mesh surfaces that allow the oil to drip through, while gentle air flows or fans help cool the fries slightly and further remove residual oil. The conveyor belts are often equipped with a vibrating system that helps further shake off any remaining oil from the fries. This vibration ensures that the fries are evenly dried and prevents them from sticking together. They travel on cooling and chilling conveyors for nearly two hours to finalize their flavor and texture. Afterward, the fries are subjected to stringent quality checks in a laboratory setting to ensure they meet precise standards for taste, texture, and appearance. These tests also verify that the fries align with food safety regulations and meet McDonald's exacting specifications. The fries are then sent to an automated portioning machine, which carefully measures out precise amounts for packaging. This system ensures consistency in weight and quantity, meeting both quality standards and customer expectations. Once portioned, the fries are funneled into large, durable plastic bags designed to maintain their freshness during storage and transportation. The packaging machine seals the bags tightly to prevent contamination and preserve the product's quality. The sealed bags are placed into cardboard cartons on an automated conveyor system, ensuring efficiency and precision in the packing process. Each carton is carefully filled to the exact specifications, maintaining consistent weight and minimizing any risk of damage during transport. The cartons are then securely sealed and labeled, ready for storage or shipment to their final destinations. When the cartons arrive at McDonald's, employees simply take the pre-packaged fries from storage and fry them to golden perfection. This quick and efficient process ensures customers can enjoy delicious, crispy French fries every time. Finally, let's explore how millions of potatoes are grown and harvested on the vast, fertile fields across the United States. The potato planting season in the U.S. typically begins in March or April, depending on the region. The first step is soil preparation. Soil tilling machine is a robust piece of equipment 
typically attached to a tractor, and is designed to prepare large fields efficiently. It features multiple rotating blades or discs that dig into the soil, breaking up compacted dirt and turning it over. This action helps to aerate the soil, improving oxygen flow and water retention, which are essential for healthy potato growth. After the soil is prepared, seed potatoes are loaded into automated potato planting machines. These seed potatoes are specially selected and cut into pieces, each containing at least one eye, which is the bud that will sprout into a new plant. The seed pieces are treated to prevent diseases and ensure healthy growth before planting. The potato planter is a sophisticated machine designed to streamline the planting process. It consists of a hopper where the seed potatoes are stored and a conveyor system that evenly feeds the seeds into planting tubes. These tubes guide the seeds into furrows created by the machine, ensuring each seed is placed at the ideal depth and spacing. The machine also covers the seeds with soil immediately after planting, protecting them and ensuring proper germination. Modern potato planters can plant multiple rows at once, greatly increasing efficiency. After planting potatoes, diking machines are brought in to shape and maintain the soil mounds, or hills, around the planted rows. These machines are specifically designed to create raised ridges of soil over the potato seeds, which is crucial for their growth. A diking machine typically consists of angled discs or plows that move through the soil, carefully piling it into evenly shaped rows. This process creates space for potatoes to grow, improves drainage, and insulates them from extreme temperatures. Consistent irrigation after planting is essential to support healthy growth and ensure the optimal development of potatoes. Pivot irrigation systems efficiently water potato fields by rotating around a central pivot, distributing water evenly through sprinklers. These systems are adjustable, ensuring the ideal amount of water for crop needs. During their three to four month growth cycle, potatoes require consistent watering, needing about one to two inches per week. This regular irrigation supports tuber formation, prevents drought stress, and ensures higher yields and quality. Spraying machines on potato fields are used to evenly apply fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides, ensuring the crops remain healthy and free from pests or diseases. After three to four months, potato plants begin to bloom, signaling that the tubers are maturing underground. Just two weeks later, the potatoes are ready for harvest, and the fields come alive with the bustling activity of modern machinery. As you can see, there are no potato plants left in the field. That's because American farmers use defoliation to prepare for harvest. This process allows the potato skins to toughen, reducing damage during handling and extending storage life. The journey of potatoes comes to a close here, but perhaps it has opened a new perspective for you about this humble yet incredible crop. These unassuming tubers not only feed millions, but also remind us that some of life's greatest treasures are hidden just beneath the surface. Don't forget to like and subscribe to continue exploring more fascinating journeys in the world of agriculture. See you in the next story.